Hi everyone, good morning. Um, this morning I got a message and someone had requested if I could do a video um, on the cards that I had shown in one of my videos that I posted yesterday. So I thought I'd go ahead and do that while um, Chloe is still sleeping so hopefully I can get through this. But these are the cards that I had made. And these cards are totally, totally inspired by Rose. Um, hi, Rose. And she's Rose S915 on YouTube. And I love Rose's style. Like, she totally inspires me. I love, I really, really love the things that she makes. Um, so I seen one of her videos and I just was like, oh my God, I want some, like, I want my own. So I decided to try and make my version of some Rose cards I guess you could say but this is one that I made and I'll go ahead and I'll show the cards and then I'll show um, the products that I used so that's one of them um, this is another and these are all pretty much dress form and birdcage and um, vintage looking cards that was my like theme I guess you could say and this is another one that I had showed in my video and this is this is another one and um, the idea in this card, I kind of wanted it to look like um, a window display. So that's why this kind of looks like a curtain here. But I don't know, I just, that's what I had in mind when I made this card. Let me see. And this one's, sorry, this one is not even finished. It shouldn't be in there. This is another one. And you, I know you can't really see the dress form. But I tried... Um, my goal here was to just take out um, a paper stack and just, you know, stamp stuff away and just make as many different cards. I tried to make as many different layouts, although some look similar, um, as I could. And this is another one. I hope you can see it since it's in the package. And this is another one. And this is another one. And this here is the um, rose, the, my favorite things, rose dye. And this is the regular size one, and this is the mini rolled. But I love, I totally love that dye. I love um, MFT products. This is another one. This is a birdcage one. I hope I'm getting the whole thing. I'm not sure if I like this card. I'm kind of like, mm, it's not one of my favorites. And I have actually another birdcage. Okay, this is another birdcage, and I like this one. And this is um, this is from those Tim Holtz. Um, I forget what it's called, but I took it apart and I put it on there. And if you um, the birdcage actually it moves and it'll swing around. But I don't know. I just wanted to try something different. This is another one. Yeah, and, and here's this one is kind of plain. Um, I I'm like I don't know. I usually don't care for like simple things. I like to like kind of overdo things. Here's another simple one. Oops. And most of these are thank yous because I have like tons of um thank you cards that need to be sent out. This is a birdcage one. And this one is just, uh, I stamped it out, I cut it out, then I painted it with my um, starburst stains, and then I put glossy accents over it. I don't know if you can see it very well. But I just wanted it to, um, to kind of stand out a little more. And this flower here, I was really trying to get the vintage look and wasn't really about putting color into the flowers except keeping it maybe like brown. But I decided to um, try, kind of pull out the blue from the paper. And again, that's with uh, I Am Roses and the Starburst Stains. Lindy Stampgan Starburst Stains. And these two, yeah, these two are, are the same cards. But I tried not to like make the same layout but it's hard like I'm one of those like if 
there's a layout then I'll make like six of them while I'm doing it <laughs> but those are all of the cards that I had made um, and I'll show you the products the paper that I used is this K and Company stack here and it's called the classic K stack unfortunately we don't have a Michaels or Joann's here like I've said many times before so you know, like I don't have like all those gorgeous K and Company paper stacks that you, most of you have, and I love K and Company, and I'm like dying, like I need to like get on a trip and and go to a Michaels and Joann's, but this is the one that I used, and pretty much what I did is I just cut out a bunch, and I think I cut them at four by five and one quarter, and you can see here I still have a bunch more. And then I just adhered them, or I distressed the edges, and then adhered them down to the to my cards, like I did here. And then I stamped like some of the edges on on some of them, not exactly on all of them. Um, and I did that first, and then I um, then I just grabbed stuff and put the cards together. Um, the stamp sets that I used. Like I said, I wanted to use um, just dress forms and bird cages. So this is one that I used, and this is the gorgeous Oxford Impressions. And I showed this in a haul video. Like I was so super excited when I first got it. So I hope most of you like grabbed it <laughs> because this is a gorgeous stamp set. And then I also used this one here, which is the Darcy's. Um, forget what this one is called I think it's called material girl but I love I love that's like one of my favorite just form stamps so that was another one I used. and then I used the crafty secrets which is this one here and I also use this one here That was the birdcage stamps I used, and then I also used this little Crafty Secrets one here. And I love the sewing machine and, and the thread spool and this little scissors. And I also used this stamp set here, and this is by Pink Paisley, but I mostly used it for this, this corner, like, flourishy thing, which I really, really loved. Oh, and I also used these guys here, and... I was gonna do a haul video on this but this is like the only two stamps and these are um, more dress form stamps that I had um, found on my quest for dress form stamps and these are by Lost Coast Designs and this is what they look like and they're super pretty um, these are two it's this one here and this one here and I really like this one and um, Rena and Joe I kind of got you these so <laughs> I know you guys are like dress form stamps fans too so I'll be sending you your stamps <laughs> but okay so those are all of like the, the stamps that I use um, this is one of the sentiment sets that I use and this one is again by my favorite things it's one of their newer um, sentiment stamps and this is the more essential sentiment stamp set so that's one that I used um, I and then I think I mostly used the this this one here like I really liked that one and then some thank you um, sentiment stamps from CC designs so those are all of the stamp set that I used and what I did is I pretty much just got all my stamp sets out, um, got some cream cardstock, and then I um, I just stamped a whole bunch of images. And then when I had some time or while I was like sitting down and doing something, I just you know sat down and cut them out, and then I played with them. Okay. The flowers, most of the flowers were um, by I Am Roses, and the other flowers were made with the My Favorite Things um, Dynamics, and this is the Road Rolls and the Mini Road Rolls. And this is, um, let me see, 
these are some what I did is I just cut them with whoops with the same um, from the same paper stack and then I just made a whole bunch of flowers and this is what the sizes are this is the large or the regular size and then this is the mini the two from the mini and then I also made some matching um, some matching what do you call these um, gosh I can't remember um, some matching <laughs> I guess is it roll no it's not the roll flower oh my gosh my mind is blank anyways um, but I haven't used this and again these are the ones from my favorite things I have this size and the other size which I think is a quarter inch but um, I really eh, I'm really happy with how these cards came out um, I'm just trying to look if there's anything oh the only other things that I used are some lace from my favorite things which are this lace here and some prima lace which are like from these so I hope I covered everything um, okay this die here is the famous um, my favorite things doily die which is this and I think it's still back in stock so for those of you who didn't snatch it up you should go check it out and the rest of the stuff was um, just nestability um, the nestability dies which I like cut out a whole bunch and then I ink some up and this is just done in cream cardstock um, already I hope I answered most of your questions so hope you like these cards and I'll see you guys again take care bye